Welcome all you Aquarians. <laughs> it's May 2023 and I've got an important announcement for you from your horoscope related to the movement of the karmic point. I want to focus on this as I have with all the other star signs this month. Rather than jumping around like a jackrabbit, I want to focus on the destiny point. And in your case right now, it's transiting the fourth house of your horoscope. The fourth house is traditionally <clears throat> by astrologers known to relate to you know, domestic issues, your family, your mother, your property, real estate, cars. But often one pertinent aspect of this sector is your inner peace and happiness. And while this planet, along with Mercury retrograde and the sun are also transiting this portion of your horoscope. Peace of mind is what's overlooked. The fourth house has to do with morality. Most astrologers look at the ninth house, but the ninth house has more to do with the rules, the regulations, the mores, the, the, the cultural conditioning and social, civic and political rules that determine our goodness. <clears throat> the fourth house, however, has to do with your intrinsic goodness, just who you are as a person, irrespective of all of those other constraints that our culture places on us. And that, of course, is linked to one's peace of mind, you know, at the level of guilt, shame, embarrassment, all of those sorts of things arise as a consequence of how well we are stationed in that inner part of our being and that component of our spirituality which is really unlaid. It's that raw part of ourselves. And so the karmic Consequences of this now are that you may not feel particularly happy in yourself. You may have a nice, comfortable home, a beautiful family, a car, a good job, and you may not find anything particularly wrong with any of that. Yet, still, you're feeling something's not right. I just don't feel complete in myself. So <laughs> that is not going to be achieved through any additional outer activity on your part. Acquisition of things, travels, extraordinary knowledge, none of that is going to give you that missing piece of the jigsaw. The missing piece of the jigsaw is you yourself, that inner part of your being that's probably like most of us been neglected. <clears throat> so this transit is certainly going to bring up, you know, I'm not saying you have a perfect life, none of us have a perfect life like that. And I said everything may be going well. You may have some problems in the domestic sphere, especially with the retrograde mercury now making its impact there. So, of course, the usual astrological uh, dictum is to, you know, hold back, reflect, um, gather all the information you need before making a uh, decision. I also forgot to mention Uranus has, has also been transiting this part of your horoscope for some time. So there may be some unexpected changes in your domestic sphere. But that aside, this has more to do with finding that sweet spot within yourself. And that's, again, not um, dependent on anything else. There are no prerequisites for this. This is simply a state of being, being in yourself, satisfied in yourself, for yourself. And that is the internal radiation that you need that is going to fill that gap that you may have been missing for some time. The North Node, especially with the aspect of one of your secondary rulers, Saturn, 
can give rise to some sorts of irrational fears, um, apprehension, anxiety in some people. Again, if you ask a lot of these people, what is it that's causing your anxiety? They can't quite pinpoint it. It's nothing in the outer world. So we've got to come back into ourselves. So the key point this month, Aquarius, is to you know just rest in yourself, uh, be content with yourself, Try not to move consciousness outward in that modality of acquisition, desire, as a means of finding your happiness. Let that go, just for the time being, and try the exercise of just resting in your own self. One of the great mantras that I love uh, is this question, and I would ask you this month to repeat this question as often as you can. Think carefully with me here. <clears throat> what is wrong with right now if you don't think about it? So, think about that. It's, a, it's almost like a little bit of Zen Buddhism there for you, a Zen cone. What's wrong with right now if, that's the condition, if you don't think about it? And I'd be curious to... Get your feedback on that. In the meantime, take a look at the typical, usual astrological assessment I've got for you there, the transits there at astrology.com.au. We'd love your subscription. We need your support on the channel. If you'd be good enough, please do that. And by all means, I'm always uh, waiting for your messages. If you've got any questions, any complaints, yeah, we get complaints. That's okay. Everyone has a different way of seeing things. I look forward to that. And of course, I look forward to your company again next month. Take care now.